Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel and today I want to talk to you about a new feature in Privacy IDEA 3.7. This is about enrolling of HOTP and TOTP tokens. This is the Verify enrollment. In the past, the administrator often had the problem that he would not know if the user actually successfully enrolled his token. How did token enrollment work so far? Privacy IDEA would generate a QR code and in this moment for the Privacy IDEA server, the token was considered to be enrolled and at the same time, the user would have to scan the QR code. But what would happen if the user would not scan the QR code? If the user forgot to scan the QR code, the administrator would never know. So with Privacy IDEA 3.7, we added a new policy verify enrollment that does the following. Again, Privacy IDEA generates the QR code, but then Privacy IDEA does not put the token in the state enrolled, but in the state verify. So at this point, Privacy IDEA and the administrator knows that the token is not readily, readily enrolled. The user has to scan the QR code on his phone and then generate the first OTP value and pass the OTP value to Privacy IDEA. And only if the user is able to pass the correct OTP value, then the token gets changed to the state enrolled. This way, the administrator can always control if tokens have actually been enrolled successfully on the smartphone of the user or if the enrollment process somehow stopped, if the user somehow forgot to enroll the token. These um, pending tokens in the state verify can easily be found in um, using the uh, Privacy IDEA token generator. In the upcoming next version, the state will also be available easily in the web UI. So let's take a look at it, how it has to be configured and how it works. Okay, I, on the left side, I'm logged in as user Cornelius, who's supposed to enroll a token to himself. And on the right side, I'm logged in as the administrator. And I see that this lazy user does not have enrolled his token yet. So as an administrator, I will urge the user, go and enroll a token for you. Okay, so now the user logs in enrolls a token as he's used to do, uh, hits enroll token and the thing is that this token now exists in privacy idea. And currently we do not have any clue if the user actually scanned the QR code or not. So the administrator thinks that the user actually now has a token but maybe the user has forgotten to scan the QR code. So, this is a bit unfortunate. So, how can we deal with this? So, this is the new feature in Privacy ID 3.7. Let's delete this old token since the user did not um, scan the QR code anyway. So, this token is of no use to the user. So, to activate this new feature, we need to create a policy. I have prepared a policy here. It is in the scope enrollment. And below here we see I have a policy that is valid for all conditions and says please verify the enrollment and do this for HOTP tokens, for TOTP tokens, for email tokens and 
for SMS tokens. So I save this policy and the policy is activated. Here it is. Now, if the user now enrolls a token, the following, the following will happen. Just as before, the user gets his options to enroll a token. The user gets a quite normal um, QR code, but is also shown an entry field to actually enter the OTP value. And as before, if I take a look at the administrator, I see that the user already has a token, but interesting enough, the token is in the rollout state verify. This means that I, as an administrator, can control and can know which tokens have not been successfully enrolled yet. Because what the user actually has to do is, of course, he has to scan the QR code and he has to enter the OTP pin, a valid OTP pin, uh, no, I'm sorry, not a valid OTP pin, a valid OTP value of this very token. If he does so, then the token in privacy idea will change from rollout state verify to, I reload the token view here, to the rollout state enrolled. This way, the administrator now knows that the user actually has the token on his smartphone because otherwise the user would not be able to provide the correct OTP value. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the new feature Verify Enrollment. However, of course, the administrator cannot avoid that the user forgets to scan the QR code. But at least the administrator can know and check if the user has done so and if the user has forgotten to scan the QR code, the user can be contacted and well educated. Thanks for watching.